Hey there, Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Saturday, March 25th. And uh, <laughs> yet another big news story for astrology today. And this um, this story almost gets overshadowed by all the events of this week. Pluto going into Aquarius, um, new moon in Aries, spring equinox, so many um energies, shifts, invitations, uh, opportunities for stepping into new ways of being, letting go of the past, really embracing what it is you are becoming, what it is you want your future and your life to feel like. Um, so the big news for today is that uh, Mars goes into Cancer and uh Normally, Mars changing signs is not a huge deal. It changes signs every couple of months um, on average. But this particular time, we've had uh, Mars in Gemini for an extended stay. Mars has been in Gemini since August of 2022, so seven months um, and that is a long time for Mars to stay in a sign. The reason Mars has been in Gemini for so long is because it had its every couple of years retrograde phase um, while it was in Gemini. So it went forward in Gemini, it went backward in Gemini, it went forward again in Gemini, it never left Gemini during that time. So uh, so what is Mars in Gemini? <laughs> what is Mars? Mars is the planet of action. Mars is the it's the archetype that tells us how we are going to go about getting what we want. And um, so it's how we need to be proactive. It's where we need to find our courage, to be direct, to be spontaneous, and to take risks, to move forward on things, to not hold back, to not hesitate. Um, Mars is the energy of action. Um, so taking steps to move forward. And uh, Mars is the ruler of Aries. So it, it combines with this energy of action and uh, risk taking and trying things and starting new things. Um, so Mars, the planet, is always there, right? It's it's uh, always there somewhere. And Mars in Gemini means that our nature uh, of action taking and courage and starting new things and initiating uh, has been in the uh, air sign of Gemini, which is about thinking, it's about communication, it's about information, words, um, problem solving, how how we um, have curiosity to learn new things. And so Mars in Gemini has been <laughs> the energy of the warrior in the sign of information. And so taking a stand, being proactive in terms of learning, in terms of informing ourselves, in terms of gathering information and um, feeding our curiosity. So needing to act on information, also needing to not just accept information as it is presented, needing to be proactively curious, ask deeper questions, ask uh you know, do the fact checking and ask why is that being said in that way? What is going on behind the, the scenes information wise and um, getting curious and asking those deeper questions. So there's a lot to it. Um, Mars in Gemini on a personal level has meant that we have needed to focus on our minds and giving ourselves um, that uh, the, the ability to uh, look deeper into topics that are interesting to us, maybe do some writing, maybe communicate proactively, reaching out to people, um, not accepting what you're being told, but uh, uh, pursuing the information and asking those deeper questions. Um, in a collective way, we've uh, been focused on information and the sign, the the energy of the warrior in the sign of information means we've had battles <laughs> over information and who's 
who's got the narrative and what is the is the correct information and which information are you going to listen to which narrative which version of the truth or the way that the story is being told um is is what you're going to listen to and and so asking those deeper questions to explore and understand where is this coming from what is motivating this particular explanation and what is behind that and how can I ask those deeper questions to uh, understand um, and make good problem solving choices for myself in my own understanding. What, so what information you're feeding yourself, what you're listening to, what you're taking in, what you're operating from in terms of data and information and um, uh, topics and ideas. So that's where we've been for seven months. And today, Mars goes from Gemini into Cancer. So, um, so we have the energy of the warrior going from the sign of learning and curiosity into the sign of nurturing, of mothering, of parenting, caring, uh, healing, feelings, emotions. Um, so going into a place where we need to feel and digest and process things more on an emotional level than on a mental, rational level. So shifting how we need to take action to a place of feelings and acting on our feelings. Now, uh, that certainly can, it can be sometimes more healthy, sometimes less healthy, right? Like if you're, if you're acting from your emotion, that can be a reactive way of, um, of making choices or being direct or spontaneous, maybe being reactive based on uh, feelings that you have rather than uh, rational uh, you know, whatever, whatever rational thinking through of things might, uh, might, you might arrive at if you gave more time to your thinking. So, um, so watch for those emotional ways of reacting. The, the uh, instinct of the planet Mars is to act without thinking. And so acting without thinking from a place of emotion can sometimes get us in trouble. Um, if we are using the more healthy version of this energy and finding our courage that is based on caring for ourselves, trusting ourselves, feeling the, the the uh, flow of energy, of intuition, of inner knowing, of um, of where our feelings lead us, and acting from that place can uh, be a very healthy and wonderful thing. So um, pay attention to your emotions. Notice where you're feeling the urge to uh, move or take action or make a choice, a decision. Um, and where is that feeling coming from? Is it serving your greatest good? Is there maybe a little emotional processing that you need to do? So maybe hold yourself back until you get to work through some of the feelings and figure out what is behind them, what is motivating you to take action um, from a genuine place of caring for yourself and caring for others and wanting uh, to hold uh, yourself and others in this nurturing, caring uh, vibe of, you know, the feeling of, of being held, of being safe, that uh, mothering, you know, the archetype of the mother provides us, whether, whether that's an actual mother or some other place that that might come from, including ourselves. So mothering, nurturing, holding space for, creating safety, you know, um, getting that feeling of being in your safe, safe space, whether that's your home, your nest, your place of belonging, um, and then uh, being able to feel your feelings. And from that place of feeling safe, asking yourself, what do I need to do? Where, where does my courage lead me to act um, in my own best interest? And if we're the interests of my family, my community, my world, how can we take care of each other? So that is what the energy of Mars and Cancer is going to look like. It's how um, it might feel different as Mars shifts into Cancer. 
big shifts this week. Earlier this week, we had Pluto going into Aquarius. Pluto stays in a sign for 15 to 20 years. So big, big um, uh, significance to that shift happening. Uh, historical, um, t you know, our trends that we have in history tend to correlate with Pluto signs. And um, so it's a whole big topic. But um, but anyway, we're shifting historically into some new energy, really into a new kind of uh, soup that we're going to be living in. And the, the one that we've been living in is Pluto and Capricorn, which is things feeling hard, really coming in touch with our limitations, our mortality, our challenges, um, where our systems and structures need to change, to transform, to be updated to uh, who we are now and um, who we have become. So now that Pluto is in Aquarius, we've got the energy of uh, thinking outside the box, getting in, uh, in, bringing in new innovations, new solutions, new possibilities, new ways of thinking about things and thinking about freedom, equality, how we can um, envision the future and think about um, what, how we can be responsible for the future and what that might look like. Also themes of technology and how to handle technology responsibly. So I've had a lot of videos recently on the topic of Pluto in Aquarius. Uh, if you're interested in that, definitely go check those out. They are um, in the playlist uh, changes coming in 2023, which of course now we're here and these changes are happening especially this week. And last Sunday, I did a video on all the changes this week and what's uh, going on and what it might look and feel like. Um, so tomorrow, I'm going to be sharing a little bit more with you about how astrology can help us navigate these times that we're in, how it can help us um, uh, you know, be active participants as we shape the future, what it might help us understand about the future and uh, what that could look like. So check it out. Come back tomorrow. And uh, and really, oh, the other thing about today is we've got the moon shifting from Taurus to Gemini. So later in the day, we're going into a Gemini moon. Today, we have that energy of connecting with the earth, the physical world, our bodies, our senses, what feels good, what gives us pleasure, and how we take in beauty. So um, yesterday I was talking about uh, the moon in Taurus, what that looks and feels like. And, um, you know, in the midst of all these kind of shifting and changing uh, energies, it's good to remember what keeps you grounded, what makes you feel um that sense of connection to the earth and the world and stability and predictability and routine. <laughs> and uh, and then later today, as the moon shifts into Gemini, we um, shift into more of that curious uh, thinking and words and communication uh, energy. And so um, uh, tonight and tomorrow, more more that Gemini energy that just wants to talk and connect and play with words and explore what we're curious in, about and, and think about um, what our minds need. So interesting that, you know, as Mars goes into Cancer, the moon will be in Gemini here for a couple of days. And uh, it's just the way the zodiac works. We have that Mars in Cancer, new vibe, new feeling with our um, action side. And then the moon, which is our inner needs and feelings side, is going to be uh, exploring some some of the Gemini energy. So um, so we'll continue with that and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here and for all that you do to uh, help your own life and the world through learning and engaging and learning about astrology. So thanks for being here and um, you can learn more about me at astrologyheals.com. I do have right now a special offer working in depth um, in a series of five sessions to explore your chart, to uh, see how your chart and uh, 
the pl placement of your planets in your chart can help you get uh, the things that you want achieved in your life to um, accomplish your own hopes, dreams, desires, healing processes, and all the things that are important to you um, through understanding what's going on at deeper levels that your chart can reveal. So lots uh, to explore there. And I'll put the link there um, uh, in the description of this video, but it's also on my webpage at astrologyheals.com. Thank you so much for being here and for subscribing and uh, for your comments and likes. I really appreciate it. And I will be back and see you tomorrow with more looking at the future. All right. Bye for now.